And welcome back, round two of Metal Monsters. This is Squad Ops. I'm Tedish here. We're gonna jump straight into the right. Russian brief so, here. Last round. Um, that was that was really great. I mean, eight thousand supply fob op. Obviously, like when you get that many supply points, you can you can really build some nice stuff. But yeah, we we held that extremely well. They just kind of crashed on us one wave at a time from different directions, and we we cut them all down. And the the crows humvee also did work. Sightless was that Shut was up. the greatest game of War Thunder uh, ever played. Um, yeah. Better. <laughs> There you, there you go. So this round, what we're going to do is we're going to take our five MTLBs and allocate them like this. Squad 1 gets an MTLB. Squad 2 gets an MTLB. Squad 3 gets three MTLBs. And then Squad oh. 4 gets to take two transport trucks. Gross. Yeah, Squad 4. Oh. Yay, Squad 4. All right, uh, what we're doing is after live, we're just going to go like straight up the B column. I have, I have zero interest in... Uh, we're we're gonna we're just gonna go like this. Hey, Actually, gosh. we're just, we'll we'll go through. Uh, or no no no, I want to go through the open areas. So yeah, we're gonna go like this. Did it do? Dee dee. -de. Then we're gonna go like sit up here, and kind of like uh wait for their wait for their logistics convoy, and you know if they show up, kill them all. Cause uh yeah. Got to get rid of them. Then if they, you know, once once we've killed the Logi convoy, we recon the points like this. So we check first point, then we check second point, then we check third point, or you know the marking work. Then we check third point, and then last but not least, we check upper Petrivka. Well, we'll do the specifics of checking each point when we arrive at checking each point. Uh, for now, we're just going to focus on taking out the U.S. Logistics Convoy and not taking any casualties as the, the main mission. They do have that zombie. That thing is, is very dangerous, so we want to keep the, the MTLBs kind of pretty... We want to keep the whole formation pretty close together so the MTLBs can, can deal with that as a wolf pack rather than as, like, individual MTLBs. That was part of their problem last round was, like, each MTLB would engage us individually and we would individually wreck it. And then they'd bring the next one in from another direction, and we'd just shit on that one. And so they ended up losing all four of their MTLBs one by one, because they were never really working in tandem with one another. They were all kind of spread out. So yeah, we're, we're going to avoid that as much as possible. We're just going to wolf pack them and keep them as like a, a big armored unit, because that's where I think they're going to be the most effective. Yeah, uh, any questions? Are we getting a speech from LaRue this time? No. We so the last time, time LaRue gave a speech, you lost the round. When he didn't give us to last round, not only did we win, we won while taking maybe one third of the casualties of the no, enemy. I don't need your so, in my life. I, I don't <laughs> think that was a speech by LaRue <laughs> is right necessary now. for, uh, indeed. Indeed. When he commands you to give a speech, that's, that's generally like how it works. All right, so, uh, yeah, any other questions? Uh, which Does everybody one know? <laughs> one at a time. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say, which squad will be doing scouty jobs? Uh, which will be the whole team? We're we're gonna make the a big team? nice a nice big line. Like after we kill after we kill those goddamn Humvees, we're gonna do this. We're gonna have like one MTLB per you, keypad. Drive anywhere, Russian. You're darn right, you will. We're just going to spread them out awesome. like this, right? So one MTLB every 100 meters. Oh god! And we're just going to stick infantry <laughs> in between the MTLBs. And we're going to make nice big liney line and push and kill everything we see. Hey, oh, that sounds amazing. You like, guys like it is. Liney line, kill everything we see. <laughs> liney yeah. line. And if there's nothing there, all. then we mount back up in the M. Here's here's how here's how that happens, right? So if we get here, there's nothing. We mount back up in the there's armor. And we drive off to here, and then we dismount. We reform the line and we push again. And if there's nothing here, well, then we mount up and we drive over to here, and we reform the line and we push again. And if there's nothing at the gas station, we we drive over to the uh, the overpass, right? Then we set up, 
and then we go and get rid of them here. You know, it's just, just kind of one at a time. But first, I want to take out a logistics convoy. That's that's kind of my, my primary goal. So yeah, squad it's leads, uh, any other questions? Anything at all? Yeah. What's sure. the uh, vehicle at storage? Is that theirs? Storage site? Yes, that's a Crow's Humvee that is theirs. That's mm. where ours started last round, too, so... That's where, when we're convoying out of Maine, we're going to have to be cognizant that that exists, but we're going through the Bravo column, so I don't anticipate any issues. Like, we're going to drive straight west, then we're going to drive straight south. And if they have to send the Crow's Humvee to the edge of the map to go look for us, well, then they're going to lose a Crow's Humvee. Very firm. All nice right, big, uh, let's break him out. Them Get him in the, uh... Exactly. Noel. Jack understands my brilliant Good strategy. Sun Tzu himself All right. Maybe uh, that's pony strategies. Consolidate all the forces. Moving a giant uh, flank, nine-year flank around the whole map. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, considering the U.S. have decided to base up in the Kilo Lima Two area, that will be the last, literally the last place they check. Um. So we'll see. We'll see if the convoy comes under fire. But it could be it could be a tense couple minutes while everyone positions before we get some real contact. Yeah, let's, let's get the, let's get we shall see. So out of this location, let's go over the map, uh, the operation real quick because it is kind of complicated. We I think people probably got the gist of what was going on there, um, but let's run through it again real quick. So the assets per team, per per squad is for the U.S. two AR, two lat, one medic. For the Russians, it's similar: two AR, two lat, one grenadier, one medic. So lots of heavy assets. The U.S. gets two transport, two logi, two open top Humvee, and one crows, and then that anti tank team. The Russians get five MTLBs, two transports. Right, so lots of armor in this. That AT team gets to start um, in storage site. So that consists of one Crow's Humvee, two Lats, a squad leader, and a medic. So the U.S. is basically on defense. They're picking one of four spots. And depending on the spot, they get more or less starting resources. But then they can run logistical convoys um, as often as they can. So that was Pony's plan, is to run in there and cut off the convoy as soon as possible. Um, so their their choices are for the U.S. We're either up here where they've they've chosen in Kilo Two. They can also go Hotel Four over in this area here, uh, East Petrovka, uh, India Seven, which is where we saw last time up in these woods, or Lima Seven over here in uh, what is it? Fields out there? I'm not sure. Oh, gas station. No, the gas station's here. I'm not sure exactly what's out there, but anyways, Lima Seven. Uh, if they start in India 7, they get two dumps. Hotel 4, they get one dump. Kilo 2 up here, they get one dump as well. If they start in Lima 7, they get nothing, and they have to re rely on just their Lodgy dumps. So these guys have chosen the uh, Kilo Kilo Lima, so they get one dump plus uh, whatever runs they can get in. It is a long way from base. Uh, it's an extended supply route. I believe the Lodgies have to be escorted by one or two Humvees. I'm not 100% sure if that's a rule in this op. I know we've had it in the past. Um, but it's probably wise if they do. So that's a good chunk of your team. You're dedicating to that. You know, half the squad at least. So if you have to have both Humvees, that's you know four driver gunner in both Humvees. And then two drivers there. So that's six people. Two thirds of a squad. Let's see if we can't get over and check out any defenses that have been built. Once again, this is Squad Ops. Check us out, squadops.gg. I'm Tedish, your commentator for the night. If you got any questions, throw them down in the channels. Do my best to answer them as they come. I apologize if I miss any. A lot going on here to pay attention to. The US, they flip the Something, I guess. They, they, have, they have a real problem with their vehicle drivers.
Looks like the U.S. have not built any supplies yet. Karma is off for the night here, Diego. No. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. They have my keyboard under the windows. So he commands, plays, or commentates in these, but he's not in tonight's op. My guess is he'll be around for the Saturday ops. Oh, my God. That's, that's... Oh, it looks like the uh, U.S. has started building some sandbags here. I gotta go find the video on his YouTube channel of me saying that he's banned from running, running logistics on all, all squad ops platforms and on like NST like, gas station. That was, uh, this is the large gas station here. It's got like these retail Day. shops all set up, ready to go. Oh man, what's with community uh, teams not being able to drive vehicles? Nice uh, blue and yellow. Oh, man, I'm pretty sure sightless can. Well, and then for such a huge gas though. station, it has a no, whopping. I was driving. Two like pumps. We had to you got... With <laughs> with one yeah, handle was each. And the very and high like, gallon count like on the last fill up there. Sounds like the U.S. are having some problems here with Jesus their logistics. Fucking Christ. I wonder if the U.S. are going to try to build sandbags all the way around the side of this thing. That's, I mean, it's not a bad idea, but I don't know if they're going to have the supplies for that. Yes. Do real Humvees have seat belts? I'd assume they do. Fuck it, I don't know, but probably no one wears them. Three outhouses, they might have to use those while yeah. they wait. That's why I want an MRAP. I can't flip an MRAP. How would I defend this place? So you got these woods on the west, and I would... Definitely push out and try to get some defenses out here, if not some scouts. Because if they get up on these woods, they can get right up on top of you before you know they're there. Or even if you do spot them, you know, it's, it's not too hard to move tree to tree and get right up on the defenses here. Especially if you don't have any elevated positions to help rain down any uh, grenades. Two or three rounds down here. I don't think the U.S. can get up on these. Roofs at all. Matter says that they're together now. As far as so. distance machine gun cover, you know the MTLBs aren't going to come up through the woods. But they're probably not going to come over that overpass. Oof. This is a tough spot to defend. I really don't know how I would do this. You got shitty cover just to your west. You've got this like semi open field and then a semi like that's perfect distance out there for an MTLB to, to like park himself in this tree line and get good cover fire right over your heads. So you can get vehicles down here firing in, suppressing everything. I really feel I am a qualified vehicle instructor. Uh -huh. I think it's time to go back to vehicle convoy. training. I guess you could put machine guns over here firing down into that and they'd be okay. We'll see. Yeah, Diego, I actually am in California. I'm in the Berkeley area, so I'm breathing in all this smoke. It's funny, I saw so many people today running around with um like the three M uh face masks on in Berkeley. It's like I mean, it's it's smoky, but it's not that bad. But the amount of gas masks I had, it was it felt like a a news shot from China. Not cheap. Wow. What's going on, Literally Parliament? Sourced from a local farm. Welcome to the channel. Beef Welcome to the vid. <laughs> You're not familiar We're just with prepping kale. here for round two you of Metal Monsters. These would stink if there was beef and kale in the sandbags. Jesus. U.S. are on defense, the, Russian are digging them out, five MTLBs <laughs> versus an entrenched position and a semi-mobile U.S. force, but mostly static. Kill, I can't see. <laughs> see how they put that crow's Humvee to I'm use. Running, I'm going to run a platform on this. As Pony was telling me earlier, <laughs> he's, uh, he t basically told his <laughs> his uh, crow's driver to play, um, and a bit, and a suit. not Steel Division, what's the other tank game? Why can't I think of it? All you badasses in this truck is blowing it down. 
War Thunder. He basically told his guy to play War Thunder with the Humvee, and he did a great job with it. Uh, no, Diego, not not protests, wildfires. Right now, I think Cal Northern California, just north of the Bay Area, has something like 22 fires burning at the same time. They've burned not just rural areas. This this blew my mind. I was like at work today, and we're, we're smelling all the smoke, and it's kind of hazy and everything, and I get an email from my cousin, and she lives up in the area that burned down. She's like, yeah, we're doing fine, but my hospital burned down. The hospital I work at, I was like, wait, ho hospital? Your hospital burned down. Like, this isn't like a, a farm in the middle of fucking nowhere. These fires are, are no joke. So, yeah, everyone in the Bay Area can uh, can smell it for sure. They're sensing it. But, yeah, it's some devastation up north. I killed, I killed thousands while I was in the Air I mean, if, if wildfires are getting to hospitals and uh, <laughs> things like that, that's that's no joke. <laughs> that's that's military service, and it's sexy. It's good. It would only have been better had you drifted in and rolled. And you'd have to be an officer, so it's high up. I was gonna try to and then said, "Like I go out." Yeah, we're still just waiting for the U.S. to get their acting gear here. Looks like they got. I didn't really think they put all in now. And a NASA guy. Oh, the U.S. haven't even gotten their team down to the. Uh, The crows down here. They're uh, AT team. Oh, there is a team down here. Okay. Okay, um, and, yeah, Sonic, uh, the last I heard, there was like 16 killed and hundreds missing. But I mean, hundreds missing, pretty easy to, you know, communications are are going to be very poor. I, I heard it took out something like, I want to say it was multiple dozen cell, cell phone towers. So, like, good luck communicating when you're in those zones. So, yeah, going going missing or out of contact would be pretty easy. So, my guess is most of those people are just fine. But, uh, yeah, some pretty intense fires all over. Yeah, if you go to, oh, I just Google California wildfire map, and it'll show you, a, you know, up-to-date map of where all the fires are. It's, it's pretty intense. And it's, like, 50, 60-mile-per-hour winds that spurred them all. So, it was, uh... There we go. Live call, 131. So, live in one minute. Minute and 20. How about that guy? Sneaky is tired. So the, he needs to go to bed. So the perfect yeah. position for the lats when you guys get there is a position I where will, you guys... I will personally come over to kick your ass, okay? If you can hear Best Pony calling it out over there. Alright, do you want the monitor? You can tell it's loud where he is. All those engines are on because he's yelling over the microphone. Bravo 12 is our destination. Yeah, Bravo 12 is the first Copy. destination. Yes. And we want to go all the way to, we to we go all the way to B, the B column. We don't want to I don't know if you had hurricanes and wildfire. Yeah. Then you'd have a fire hurricane, right? With sharks in it. Get you gun out. Like a horrible D-list movie right there. Yeah, uh, engines on. All right, where is this Humvee? There it is. This is our possible action in the beginning. We're gonna follow this thing and see if uh, see if he heads west or east. Live in 15 seconds. So do we get to call you sleeper? I think Ski Sniper is actually a good name right yes, now. Yes, Kishan, this is live. I think we have about a 10 second delay. We're live. We're live. Here goes that Humvee. And does he turn left or right? He turns right! So he's heading west! We might have contact early. Watch these inches, guys. You can see those blue dots in the distance. That is the Russian team. He is heading straight to the side of the, the map, so uh, we will probably have contact here. Northeast side of the compound, then. I might start using them as a 
more fortifications in a sec. Oh, just move them out of the way for now. Tower. All right, uh, dismount. All right, sneaky. I'm uh, loading his guys, so yeah, he's uh probably gonna see them. Good eyes. Let me know. Oh, there's a little um, tower there. Wow, I've never seen this little tower before. At all. I feel like that's really not somewhere you want to be if there's MTLDs around, because uh, I mean that's made of freaking. Not even two by fours. Those are like one by eights. Wait, he's a medic with a lat? Someone's hacking. Shenanigans going on right here. Yeah, yeah, he just spawned in with the medic kit and then switched to the lat, but. <laughs> he also has like 16 mags on his front belt. Yeah. I guess that's six. And he's carrying a saw? What the fuck? No. Oh, crows in the back. Scouting it out. Who is this out here? Server 404. Who is that? Bellator and Sneaky Sniper in the gun. See if they spot this whole continent. Right, no, there's and, no uh, way. One thing to note when you're up Too far. We can't even see him with our supervision. Yeah. Alright, good. Luckily for these guys, they didn't go any further west. It it all depends, but if it looks like you know you're under fire and you run and jump, or you run and it, 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 you could you could get kicked for it. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Kashan. This is a uh, operation. What are we calling this? Metal Monsters. New one for this month. Round two. Lots of heavy armor assets versus an entrenched position. Looks like the U.S. got their first convoy down and they're coming back right now about halfway home. Let's go critique their base building skills. See who can play Minecraft well. You know, the devs are watching you. If you, you know. <laughs> not devs. You Fly see. faster. Oh, not that one. That one. I swear it doesn't do anything after 6,000. Yeah, shift boosts it by like 2,000, but it just doesn't do anything. I haven't heard All right. The U.S. are building these little pillboxes out here. Guess those are cool. All right, Diego, have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. Staying vigilant. Even got that lean going on. Got good? Yeah. This guy has good view of that uh, overpass. Unfortunately, that overpass, it's going to be real obvious. Because those MTLBs do have optics, so they're going to come up to this. Jeez, this thing feels really far away. All right, now let's proceed, let's proceed. Okay, this is a little bit further away than we thought. But still, you come up here with optics, you're going you're gonna to see that. That's gonna be like, oh shit! There's a 50 cal. That's, her, That's where their base is. Looks like the U.S. have a scout on their back line at Juliet One. All right. Moving. Can we see them? There they are. Yep. Scouting out those woods, just like I was talking about earlier, because that is a huge blind spot for that entire U.S. Oh, base. This right here is a single bet argument for more armor, I think. Is that U.S. convoy heading back? They might. This, this if the Russians punch cool. it, they might meet at the same time. Do you think these ops will stay? Matthias is asking. Uh, I mean, if, there, if it ends up being a good right, op, there's no reason we wouldn't throw it into regular rotation. We do have a large number of ops and Really, I, none of them are bad. There's definitely some that are better than others, in my opinion. But, uh, I mean, they're all good. 
U.S. main. This is where the, they might just meet in the middle. But check out that Russian convoy. Armored column. Yeah, all five rushing across. Ha, Russian. Ha, the Russians rushing across the field. It looks like it used to be a lot. The Logi truck or the transport truck in the back. Crows is still posted out yeah, west, the storage site. So we'll see where the Russians decide to post up to wait for the Lodgy here, the uh, American convoy. It does have both Humvees with it, two out of three Humvees. Unfortunately, if the Russians don't get really in on top of them, I guess they could post up somewhere on this hill. And there's no way the Americans could get back out. They might be able to get into the point, but they could never leave that tree line without getting picked apart, especially going uphill. Looks like the Russians are staging now. All right, we're regrouping. All right, continue to push. Best point is doing a good job wrangling his guys, getting everyone moving forward. The U.S. are getting bogged down on that hill, the Coyote Ridge Hill. Well, there's an interesting call. If he makes it, prioritize the Lodgies or the Humvees. I took over for Bird Person. Bird Person is leaving. Someone else is going to be taking over. Pushing these guys in. Ooh, yeah, it's going to be Clash at US Main, which uh, All right, let's might run into a technical Main snafu here Indian with the, uh, on the north side of spawn USA. protection. Can't fire into that. Hopefully, the pony realizes that he's not going to charge straight in there. Either go around north of it or south of it. Rose is still posting up. I'm sure the U.S. are digging up a storm. Although, with what, three full squads digging? You can burn that 2,000 points in a hurry. Well, what, they've had, what, 3,000 points, right? Because they started with one dump, and they've gotten two. All right, the Russians are definitely going to be in position before the Americans get back. So now it's a question of whether or not the Americans, whether the spider sense tingles. Here they come. All right, go direct north here, right this line. That convoy. Oh. And we just heard it. Russians flipped one of their MTLBs. <clears throat> yeah, welcome, Luke. You're not that late. Well, okay, you're a little bit late. This is a uh, start of round two. It's right, toast, so don't bother with this toast. Not up the other end of the field. Now, now, stop, stop. Here, they, they sense the convoy. So they're about to have contact here. I don't think the Americans have seen it, but the Russians definitely know that the convoy's coming in right now. Squad four is in real close. The Americans probably see that truck and are like, what the fuck? That's not supposed to be there. They're in main. They're in main right now. <laughs> Alright, they've been loading into the right, southern we MTLB. We're moving to engage. Where are the rest of their MTLBs? Oh, they're up on the hill. Up high. Book it east. MTLB, book it east. 
Oh, they're, they're right. going to go right, right up the hill. Yep, eyes, eyes on them. They're in main. They're in main. They're about to be blessed. Yeah, right. Yeah, the U.S. didn't see him. Oh, yes, they, now they're gonna find this them. flipped MTLB and be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> they're probably real confused. Oh wow, that ambush could have gone so well, and it's so not. We got some engagement here. That Humvee's on fire. Logie's taking one Logie down. We just lost both Logies there for the U.S. team and one of their Humvees. The second Humvee took some fire. They lost a few more infantry down here. Um, but all in all, that uh, ambush went fairly well for the Russians. They lost one MTLB due to technical errors there and you might have seen it on stream there they flipped the mtlb and then managed to flip it back over but i believe what happened was it was uh the event admins made the call that 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 mtlb was flipped and we i don't allow flipping them back over and getting them it's too uh, gamey i guess um even though it's a little bit lame to lose it to an error of flipping over in the map like that wouldn't happen realistically but so that was what the call there happened. That's why they abandoned that MTLB and just let it blow. I'm sure the Americans were very surprised when they found an MTLB that was just uh, empty with its ass pointed to them. But uh, that's what happened there. So overall, US lost six. Russians lost three in that. We've got one Humvee to the south down here. Is this the Crows? Kind of hunting around, seeing if he can... Yeah, yep, this is the Crows down here. Seeing if he can wolf out the uh, wounded sheep. Oh, they're seeing the final hump, the last open top up here. Calling him out on the road. It's an open top, 298. It's right there at the crossroads, 1067. Or no, a little closer to the crossroads. It's fucking off to the west now. They know we're coming. Uh, they're gonna try to hunt that thing down. Who are these guys? Are these the lat crew from that crows? Yes, they are. One lat. Oof. They'd known. They might have been able to take out that uh, transport. And wait, did we have two Humvees confirmed destroyed, or did we just have a Humvee and both Logies? Copy. Everyone's yeah, gotta be the last. And they think they killed two Humvees, but they only got one. So this Humvee is getting kind of surrounded here. Not sure who's making this call over here, but these guys are, oh, you just saw it, saw it drive, drive through the forest. It's to your south, behind you, what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this tree over here. I guess you can kind of see a little little lane here. It's got to be. Where is it? Where is it? We're being south, south, south. Crows south of Airfield, exchanging south of fire. Yeah, see, this is where the crows just can't live. Copy. We're moving to it now. All right, that's the crows on fire. Uh, it's pulling back over the hilltop. It's on flames. That means there's two Humvees left, not one. The what the hell else can we blow up? Ooh, gets out with the skin of his teeth there. Two left. One of the crows, the crows on 
Well, the Crows did so well in that first round because it had such great positioning. It wasn't caught out in these open fields here. It's still taking fire. It takes another ding off the tailpipe. They're jumping out of that thing. The open top thing lit up right now. Oh, and they finally found the other one. Oh, they got two MTLBs coming in on this Crows. The open top now also on fire, running away at maximum speed to the north. You should either get in that or get the hell out of it. Oh, the, oh, They're the bailing. Is, is abandoned, abandoned. Just blow it up in place and leave it. I, I have no interest in uh, lugging that thing along. Just fucking blow it up in place. Crew, this thing gets caught out. Wow, I thought this guy was down. There we go. Blow it up. Why don't they kill the crows? Blow it up. Might as well. Breaking comms, breaking comms, squad three, be advised. They are in um they are in that little uh Corner building of the airfield. Did they not see the Humvee? Copy, let's leave there. Oof, this is a bold move right here. Sees one, takes him out. Is there any reason why that's blown up, by the way, one? Because you got an MTLB right on it. Good, say again. Or not one, uh, three. Why is. Oh my god, you're actually taking it. Sorry, Wait. You know what? You bet your fucking sweet ass. Is guy. this. Wow, okay, the Russians just stole the crows. That's a first. Uh, yeah, wow. That's, as Pony just said, that's incredible. I'm gonna laugh when that thing gets TK'd because someone spins on it, thinks it's a, hum it's a Humvee, so they're like, oh shit, it's American. Oof, wow. Meanwhile, the U.S. have taken the airfield. <laughs> yeah, let your team know that you've got a captured crows. Alright, so we got one, two, three infantry that are going to be left in the dust here and have to run about three kilometers up to the action once the U.S., once the Russians decide to mobilize here. Hey, Pony, do you want to kind of refund this Let's go see what the, how the Americans are faring up here. Honestly, that, that's fine at the moment. The, the spreading out is good. It's, it's allowing us to kind of, yeah, exit, if you can go secure our flank over there and kind of get overwatch on that farm. If that's what I'm doing. Thank you. That's, uh, that's going to be perfect. Because once we clear crossroads, I'm pretty sure based on the way that Lodgy crew was coming in, they're either at the farm or they're at the fucking uh, gas station. <laughs> Humvee were, runs over people to get into position here. Which would only make sense if they were coming from the east side of the map. You know, you're not going to run into uh, your own resupply from the fucking east side if you're coming from crossroads or from the farm. So yeah, that's all the supply they're gonna get. I don't think they get any more sandbags here. Exactly. They're not gonna be there. They're not gonna do that. They came in from the west. They got probably either a gas station or one. The one that this isn't even a heavy machine gun. They got a, a machine gun outside the bunker, I guess, to keep it low. Pretty good firing lines here. I'd say like where it is right now, where it's kind of at the back of everything, is good for now. Just uh. Once we verify that they're not no at cover at all to the east. I want the whole formation, mount everyone back up, and move us down to like where Exit is, kind of, kind of where Coyote Ridge takes place, right? Juliet nine. And it sounds nine, like nine. the Russians kind of uh, sniffed out there, we're kind of that it's happening in Kilo two. Well, actually, it actually might be better to do that mounted because I think we we had some contact, potentially infantry contact spotted. So the only Kilo reason that, so. that it was physically possible for the Russians to steal that 
right, is because we now. spawned yeah. in Maybe that crows at now. that position the same way we spawned in the extra mtlbs and if you spawn in a vehicle it's still definitely alpha phase right you spawn in a vehicle it is designated a neutral vehicle that any anyone can take and and command and use so and the same side of that everyone can see it on the map when no one's in it when it's neutral as soon as someone gets in it it's no longer neutral but so that's the only reason that was technically possible i didn't know that we would allow it as to our rules but apparently they're gonna let it fly and it was a pretty hilarious little twist there Call that they are not here. There's fucking literally nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, they're they're not here. We wanna we wanna warm up and then push to the. Uh, we'll say first waypoint's gonna be November. 10th. So yeah, now and Pony is going to roll to the, to the edge of the map, and if he continues, we'll totally hit the gone. American base yep, so in the side where it. none of his machine guns are pointing. Yeah, And all of his sandbags are on the wrong side. And they have complete armor superiority at this point. So this is probably going to be something of a slaughter. Well, we'll see. Maybe the U.S. will get lucky on lats or, you know. We've already lost two vehicles total. Both ops. Three vehicles, excuse me, to... Uh, Poor driving, or rocks Our in the road. Charges are, are something else. Like this is this is a very different way to play compared to normally when you only have like one or two vix. Like this Nestor gas station. Buck forty. That's cheap for ninety five. That's race fuel too. Holy shit! Good gas station. Next to one. I seven. He's moving. Oh, Humvee guys, do you have sandbags or no? Uh, yes, I can put one on there. Can you put one uh over here? U.S. at least have a squad out in these. Like lengthwise, right there. Welcome to the welcome to the command net. Um, so far, let me. Yeah, a nice you ditch here. Spread out a little bit. Uh, one, where's that Good first line down south, a... which is where, you know, they are rightfully guessing that the Russians are coming from. Copy. Alright, so the current plan is we're going to get everyone convoyed to November 10. From November 10. We are moving. Actually, we'll just avoid the fucking the crossroads at November eight, and then from November eight, we're gonna move. Yeah, up the U.S. are doing. Uh, five. We're gonna dismount at Mike five, and then doing good with what they have. Fortunately, they've lost a lot of their resources, the but. Lima nine, they're calling. Are they holding? Or are they mobile? Yeah, overwhelming suppressing yeah. fire. That's a good, uh, good phrase for it. Oh, they got a little fire base up here. Missed this one originally. These wooden forts. They're cute, of, uh, but um. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be caught up there. Not only are you silhouetting, actually, I guess if you got trees behind you, it's not too bad. But as soon as you take fire, they're going to keep shooting until you're dead, or you jump out of there and break your ankle. Best pony dealing with some technical issues here. Well, leader died. Both team leaders are dead. It's fine. You're fine. fine. Let's just... You're fine. It was the game that yeah, did, so well, just, we'll just go with you're, it. you're the squad lead now, yeah. Just don't give it We're to anyone here. else after you die. We're moving. Not much. Uh, hang on. Alright, Russians finally organized and back to moving Left here. 215. 
moving east, right then Tuesday. pushing north, and steamrolling what's left of the U.S. In, like, 30 degrees in either direction. West? Uh, yeah. Copy. Straight west is almost my extreme right. A couple random scouts out here. Commuting with nature. Bam, bam. He's pretty, pretty lethal. Definitely seen him in a couple ops. We ever kill that uh, Humvee that fucked off to the west? Copy. Yeah, that Humvee. Joseph like, Little, immune styles. J Mud and Damien holding the southern line here. By one of one's MTLBs, so. Copy. Well, it won't last too long then. And this one. If it if it gets touched, it dies basically. So. Yeah, our is gonna die if it gets hit, but I think we'll be able to use it. Exactly, you just, you'd work that thing back like 200 meters and just snipe with it, honestly. I mean, that's what it's good for. Uh, we're headed to Mike 5, repeat Mike 5. Probably gonna want to turn off road here at the farm. I can't believe that Legitimate Convoy is just gone. That's like, that's a huge boon for us. Oh, here we go. Russians are charging in here in the Mike column. Plus a transfer truck. Yeah. Actually, after we get to Mike 5, we're, we're ditching the transport. We're, we're going to leave the transport truck behind once we get to Mike 5. Just uh... All right, so it sounds like they're going to go to Mike 5. All right, let's go ahead. Just right here. Getting all the infantry out. Both of the lodges for the Americans got destroyed in that ambush that unfortunately we crashed for, so we missed most of it. And the Russians only have a transport truck. In addition to their three MTLBs, four MTLBs, and stolen Crow's Humvee. Still can't believe that happened. Still can't believe that happened. Whoever the, those guys are probably still alive. Let's see what what happened. Where are the American stragglers? There they are. <laughs> Running. Desperately. Walking simulator. Oh, it's a full five man. Wow. Riot Expert, Thurman Merman, Family Phantom, Sneaky Sniper, and Bellator. All hoofing it home. Yeah, but they're in airfield, so like. They can try. They can try. They can fucking try. You know what? I reckon they can count on Pony. Yeah, server error. Whoops. Was that, that, was that you in there? Look at this line they've got going. MTLBs right, mixed in, out, infantry mixed. At least, uh, Where's that crows? In the back. Uh, not so mixed anymore. All right. U.S. are gonna know what's up real soon. Gonna be a little pile of shit in this guy's pants. Getting his lad out. As I remember correctly, all of these MTLBs are in good shape. Alright. The MTLBs ex engaging from extreme distance. None of their machine guns are effective. None of the US machine guns are pointing the right way. There goes the American transport. Not that it was being used. Can you hit any of them? Joker? 
I got nothing. I can't hit him from here. Copy. We're gonna have to let them cross the road then. Stay, stay like that. Hope we get them in a sec. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till they cross. Yeah. Here we go. MTLB is rushing past that southern line of defense here. Let's see if any lats come out. We're stopping right, right in a kill zone if these are lats. That looks like a lat. We got a lat on either side that could be lighting these guys up. This guy, uh, point blank. This is when directional damage would be so nice. Cause if this guy could put one up the tailpipe of that thing and disable it from point blank. These guys are being real patient. Cause I know the guy, both guy, both Americans closest to this Humvee in the center of the screen here are both lads. Here comes that crow. Like <laughs> Insult to injury here. So yeah, two, just just head north, probably about a hundred meters, and then get yourself facing west. Uh, four, turn west, and then one. Over there. Americans are just hiding oh, behind their cover here. Shooting at the full box. A couple guys getting picked yeah, off. Anybody can see west? Can anyone see west? <laughs> okay, copy. Oh, pony. Oh, oh! This is why you shouldn't always just wait. Box right past him. Woof! Woof! That guy just got lucky. Look at that. Look at that. Now, if you fire that thing, make sure you get away from the tree so it doesn't clip into the tree and spoil your shot. If these guys wait too long, they're gonna miss their shots. They're not gonna have an opportunity. Wow. Meanwhile, he can go for it. Our presence isn't exactly a secret. What do you want to see? Small arms. Um, you're you're forward. You're you're clear to fire. Uh, just just we're gonna let two get in position, then we're gonna push. Well, we're running out of time. Sneak up to mark. See if we can mark anyone. Copy. Yeah, as long as he's got buddy with him, he's fine. They're moving all the way around behind the American base. I guess these guys are waiting for the final push here. That five-man element. Like, ooh, still a mile out on the south. One lat comes out. That's short. Second lat comes out. It's long. Oh god! Oh god! I've never seen. So Almost much kills an infantry in, in third one. Hit. That's a good hit. There we go. One machine gun. Gets a couple good hits on one of them. That was uh, extremely high. There's a good hit. Bam bam. Needs a little bit more practice with that thing. We lost one MLB side. Russians lose one yeah, MTLB. Direct east across the road. Scene I'm engaging. Bam bam goes down. This one goes down. So that's two down. So we got three in the west. 
That five-man element is going as fast as they can coming up behind. But... It's 50 cal doing good damage here. Satan on this 50 cal. Oh, gets taken out. Good damage, though. So that was command for US right there. Pony is yelling at his dudes, telling those vehicles to come back. Their, their machine guns are rightly pointed at where these vehicles are now. I think they have fire superiority, so it won't matter, but uh, that's a good call by Pony. Oh, these command comms are hilarious. Is this another lat down here? Nope. He can't do anything. These guys are not following orders here. They're about to come in, in the range of that uh, 50 cal here. Couple shots and this Humvee will pop. South, south. Get in, get in, get the fuck in the building. Oh, he's under. Nope, I'm up under still. the arc. That Russian squad in the north. Somebody, do you want one RPGs coming in. Expert squad moving in. Oh, yeah. Hold, 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 hold. Expert calling out a super fob bunker. Uh, I would call it more of a children's fort. <laughs> With a machine gun pointing the wrong way here. But, you know, it's, it's all about your perspective, right? Silver, how are you doing up there? Well, I came up to give these guys a message, and there's a lot of guys northeast now. I've got two options. I can either keep going north. U.S. are going to try to hold out in this gas station here. Yeah, I think I've got sprinklers coming in the woods west of the gas station. I can see that bunker. They're, they're up there. Oh my god, just get the vehicles up and wipe them out. Oh, here comes the squad they're close in. They're, they're mostly, mostly Watch the Russians take over the fucking <laughs> U.S. 50 cal here. Just stealing all their assets. Oh, here we go. In the bunker, good call. Getting his 203 out, takes one in the arm. Oh, that was a lat, and he's down. Drew Meister and Pony. Can't see the other one in the 50 there. Alright, now it's coming down to room clearing here. Music, this is round two. This is the close of round two here. This is probably the first fight anyone has ever had up at this gas station. 
That five-man squad finally showed up late, but not forgotten. Okay, they were totally forgotten. Everyone forgot about them. Let's see if they can make an impact here. Look, they lost two. They got those guns turned on on the heavy guns. Oh! Excellent grenade. 203 flying in. I believe that was Jay Remick with that shot. Kills one, wounds three. Tony, we have, we're caught in the open field. We're smoking. We're going to fall back to the gas station. Copy that. These poor Russians are caught in this open field. That's Fulcrum. You can hear the panic in his voice. Ah! We're stuck in the field! Ah! <laughs> The Americans are doing a pretty good job holding out here, honestly. I mean, they still have a bunch of vehicles to contend with. Goddamn vehicles up to two's location. So what do they have? Two MTLBs and a Humvee and a crow. Stolen crows. Merrick, how are you? Alive. 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 Squad five. The Americans have a good holdout in this uh, super fob in the northwest. Couple still in the gas station proper. Here's a local chat here. Woo! Uh, I'm the last man alive down here. You've got a problem to the south. I don't even know what the inside of these buildings look like. Here's where you just wall bank through this thing. I don't even know if that would work. Nope, it's two walls. So kill them. If they're advancing on your position, take them out. One good grenade. Four guys right there. Spacing. Spacing, spacing, spacing. There's no reason to be that close to each other in this field. Here we go. Fulcrum's moment of truth. He'll probably take one, maybe two. It's so hard in this. Is that a grenade that just went out? Yep, and the grenade's good. Good sense. Get a grenade behind that thing. Who was that? Sneaky sniper. All right, the Americans actually have a little bit of momentum here, I feel like. The Russians are kind of stalled. I don't hear any more command chat coming from Pony. Which probably means he's down. But at this point... <laughs> They're like, wow, let's go this way. That's that's so much so much better. Dude takes a bullet in the chin. Ooh, heard that one hit. As soon as command goes down, it's just, just quiet. This has got to be a. Uh, these are the gas station numbers here, on the side of this building. Some interesting mapping choices there for textures. All right, and up north. Oof. How is this guy still alive? He's on the doorstep of this MTLB. Who is this? Faux fire. Up against tactical turtleneck and a metal monster. Yeah, what's the, uh, Two the metal monsters. And yeah, wow. You, you either need to freeze or kill everybody. Gets one. They find him. Gets dropped. Not a bad job considering his position. Talk about in a den of wolves there. Yeah, I don't have comms 
That would be hilarious if this MPLV drove in front of this 50 cal, but uh, that's not gonna happen. I would get out of that thing and and look in the direction that you hear the fire coming from. Lat comes out from somewhere. Wait, 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 what? The crows! The crows! Drives around onto the overpass two miles away and is being fired upon from the one guy in the 50 cal. Fucking classic. That is, that is a tough shot. Gets murdered. The Russians are just getting picked apart now. I mean, they're still going to have all the armor, but they're just going to be driving circles around this thing. That's smoke? That's a smoke. Probably not exactly where you wanted to throw that. Takes one on the side, wounding, bandaging. Guy okay, hears the bandage, smells the blood. Gets a grenade. Overthrows the grenade. Oh, he underthrows it. Good choice, good choice. Oh, it's in the kids' fort! <laughs> Too bad. Ooh, that smoke. Get him! Get him! There, woo! Lucky spray. You control that fire a little bit better there, buddy. So we still got the crows a mile away. We still got one, two, one MTOB there. Second one. Here, there it is in the woods. Two MPLBs and a Crows, and then... Is that it? The infantry in the gas station were taken out. Wow. Infantry in the north, taken out. It's it's vehicles versus embedded infantry. Wow. Uh, so the vehicles are going to lose this one. Because they have no way of digging, digging them out. And the kills are dead even at 29 to 29. But of course the US, unless they're stupid, they have a defensive position here. Uh, they should win this. Now it's like a siege. Basically the US wait until the Russians get bored. So we're gonna see if we can get uh, the American, excuse me, the Russian command in here. Give us some insights into what he felt was happening there. Here we go, lone Russian storming the gas station. He's got some support, he's got some support. Let's see what he can get done. So, Pony, what happened there? Uh, unfortunately, I think we need to stress harder in Vehicle SHT that vehicles are supposed to support the infantry. Our vehicles were about 50 to 100 meters behind the infantry they were supposed to be uh, helping out, which meant that, well, the infantry died, as happens when they don't have vehicle support, and the vehicles were left with no infantry to support, which is what we're seeing now. This is the, uh, yeah. That's kind of the inevitable result there. Whoa, that was hilarious little uh, 
Wow, those Made fail grenades. <laughs> was unfortunate. Oh, if we could get yeah. one of these vehicles to drive around to the, the south side of this gas station, the whole US team dies. But uh, Ow, so far I've, doing I've not been good so lucky. job pivoting around and staying out of the fire, out of the, you know, field of fire. This is true, but if you go, if you were to drive a vehicle out there, then they'd have to literally lie down on the ground or else get shot. That's so true. I, I feel as though that would be... You still have the crows out there. Up oh, and FX-1000 strikes again. So yeah, that five-man fire team, the five-man, well, you didn't know it was a five-man team, but uh, the re remains of the airfield main U.S. Uh, fight was a five-man element. And they ran all the way across the map, and that was who Fulcrum was screaming his head off about. They came in and uh, did some good work after their marathon. Did you guys kill that guy at the door? Looks like the, the Crows Humvee is finally returning to the scene of the battle. He, he did okay. He went out there on the bridge and uh, duked it out with a couple of their 50 cals. Did some good damage. That smoke just went through the roof. Oh, it's on, on the roof. Oh, interesting. A little, uh, little lazy mapping there. Oh no, no one's in the vehicle. Yeah. This is, uh... And they can tell because that was a spawned vehicle. Yeah, I think that was the first... I do love that you stole their crows. Uh, I was very questioning why you weren't blowing it up or why that team wasn't blowing it up, but it all made sense. So what do these guys have? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven. That guy's dead. Seven guys left. Yeah. Oh, and here's uh, let the here's massacre the begin. Okay. He's gonna keep their heads down. That's for damn sure. Another fail grenade. See. Did he get it in the door? I cannot see that door anymore. <laughs> Apparently the the US doesn't realize that their Humvee was stolen. Alright, I can see that. <laughs> Picks up one. Silent Death is sued next to go. I'm pretty sure that Humvee could drive into the center of this courtyard and no one would be able to kill it. There's no one left with a rocket launcher, so yes, there's a... Uh... It could go right in. Although, then the U.S. could go steal the MTLB. Wouldn't that be a great I, twist? There goes looks the Looks like uh, uh, FX-1000 is headed to do that right now. Or at the very least to kill poor Slinger, who uh, I think does not over there. Ha has forgotten that uh, the MTLB is visible on the map as unoccupied. Something which will soon come back to haunt him. I mean, the Russians are doing a decent job of I mean, realizing that they can't just sit in their vehicles for the whole game. They've got to do something. But their uh, room clearing is being a little hesitant here. I mean, it's scary. And you just got to commit and do it, basically. Oh, they're doing it! They're doing it! They're stealing the MTLB! Oh my god! And now it's they could, in fact, steal both MTLBs because uh, for some reason we left two unoccupied. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> this is profoundly disappointing. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, did that just happen? That no happened, yes. That we left two happened. MTLBs empty and the US a took them and blew up the crows. Humvee MTLB killed a stolen, stolen crows Humvee. Fucking classic. By God. And now it's the Russians who are hiding inside the gas station. <laughs> okay, so we got one, two, 
three inside. Oh. So when you take shots like that, it's usually a good idea to react in some way, either by hitting the ground or moving. Is that it? That's the end. That's the end. That's all of them. Wow. That was uh, that was quite the game. So that was round two of, what's this, uh, Metal Monsters Stole might be the craziest op I've ever participated in, in one way or the other. So that was good game for the U.S., who uh, we pretty much rode off after they lost all their vehicles, but turned around. Nice twist of fate at the end. Uh, yeah, our, let's see if we can pull in um, the U.S. command there. Let's get Satan in here. <laughs> I must say, your execution in the beginning, um, their pony was great. That sweep around to the south, um, you didn't realize it, but it was basically exactly the perfect counter to what the Americans had set up. So nice foresight there. All right, so we got Satan hey as well. So, um, how about how about those stolen vehicles there? <laughs> I really love um, that. That was a really fun dynamic. Yeah. So, did people realize what was going on there? Like, how 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 public was it that that was an option? Because I know we we stressed it in the command briefs that hey, these vehicles can be stolen, so don't let that shit happen. But um, was it just not stressed enough to the players, or what what allowed all those vehicles to be stolen? Or all, both of them. Um, well, I briefed all my guys during the platoon brief on the first round that if you jump out of the vehicle, then they will see it on the map and they will be able to take that vehicle. So I told all my crews that they are not allowed to leave the vehicle. Um, but the second round, things went a bit weird. Uh, we had a Crow Humvee that, uh, that the crew thought was going to burn out. So they dismounted so they would let it stop burning switch off the engine that's usually what you do with a humvee but then i think they completely forgot in their in their um in their uh just being terrified at that moment they just forgot that and so everyone saw where the humvee was and they rushed that position and then they they took the humvee yeah they did have a pair of mtlbs bearing down on them uh yeah. so they were definitely outgunned there but uh yeah that was uh that was quite quite the twist there the first to happen in a squad ops event stolen vehicles and it happens twice in the same round all right well other than that uh let's go back to the first round if we can remember it there uh thoughts pony what was your perspective on that one uh you can't beat eight thousand points of logistics no matter how hard you try or sightless who's probably the best vehicle commander um i've ever seen <laughs> He's, he plays a lot of War Thunder and especially a lot of War Thunder tanks. So I stuck him in the Crow Zombie and said, "Go, go play the biggest, baddest round of War Thunder of your life." And he did. And it hurt. It hurt real bad. I was losing MCLBs left, right, and center, and it was just making me so upset. Because it's a big map. If you lose the vehicles, you're just kind of stuck out there in a terrible spot, having to push a hardened position, as Pony said, eight thousand points with uh yeah so it was it was tough I, I knew for a fact when i went into that that tree line on the west that we're all gonna die I, I knew for a fact so it was just kind of like a last ditch effort to to uh go out looking like uh heroes i mean from from our perspective up high yeah you did a great job with what you had but yeah that hardened position after they piecemealed your uh your mtlbs up one by one uh yeah that was uh you just, you just had a really tough nut to crack and, and not quite the right tools for it. But, uh, yeah, you, it sounded good. The command comms were chirping the whole time you were up. And, yeah, nice work there. All right, any, would you cha anyone change anything uh, round two besides uh, besides the obvious? How, how was that position up there in Kilo 2? Did you like that, or was that... Uh... Um, there was a lot of logistical problems with that position. It's pretty open. But I could, I just kind of liked the area that it just seemed like an interesting place to try and defend. It was pretty difficult to defend with the uh, the lack of logistics I got, especially as our logistical convoy got 
ambushed at main um so we lost all our logistics trucks uh two humvees down there too um and, and a third i think no no we got that one back but it, yeah it was, it was just difficult yeah it was a <laughs> yeah. couple of rounds from from death right yeah and uh like i was just looking to find good emplacements where i could put a heavy gun and then build defenses around it but they're all spread out and the defenses are pretty sparse so you could see how difficult it was and i was just trying to do my rounds and just hearing everyone speak it was just like yeah we're all gonna die here pretty much <laughs> it was not a good position um and i knew for a fact when i was there on the east side when i had that one uh, heavy gunner next oh, to me oh you almost got that oh man I knew, I knew that I couldn't run run away because as soon as I saw the MTLBs that close, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to die here. So I'm, I'm glad I was able to take down three with me. Yeah, oh, he yeah. hopped on the gun first and put out a few rounds and the MTLB shot him. And then what? you waited a few minutes and hopped back on it. And yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure that MTLB was a couple rounds from death before it finally turned and found you. But uh, yeah. yeah, tough spot for sure. Very hard. Cool. All right. Well, yeah. Thoughts in general on the app. Anything we should change in the future on this one? More vehicles. Not on this less, one, but I, I think vehicles. I think every vehicle and every op should be stealable, but just without the the mini map markers, which will fortunately be possible when you get mod support. But I really I like the dynamic of you you either hold on to the vehicle or the enemy can get their hands on it and turn it against you because it it forces vehicle crews to behave more responsibly with the asset. I, I kind of agree. I really like that, uh, like in Battlefield, Battlefield 2, all the Battlefields really, right? You could steal if they were, you know, not responsible with their vehicle assets, you could definitely steal them. And it definitely adds, um, yeah, more responsibility on this. Plus, I love that uh, apparently the US was very confused at the end there when uh, they were like, what? Why is a Humvee shooting at us? Apparently, they didn't realize that it had been stolen earlier in the yeah. game. Whoever was left, I, well, we couldn't quite hear, but we heard Penn saying, oh, the U.S. is very confused. <laughs> Why is Humvee shooting at us? So, yeah, I think that adds a great element. Hopefully we can make that more of a thing. I'm, I'm sure once the SDK comes out, it's probably not that complicated. Oh, it's, well, I... Who knows? I I've, you probably know a little bit. I've right? already figured out how to do it with... Yeah, it's it's definitely... The, the day the SDK came out, or sorry, no, the day the mod support comes out, it can be done, implemented in every squad ops operation. If Excellent. we decide that that's where we want to go with the, that. Hell yeah. I mean, hell, you can take over their machine guns. Why not their mounted machine guns? Yeah, and the mortars. But, uh, you know, I, I really like that aspect. Just there at the end, I was freaking out, just taking over the uh, the MTLVs and using it against the crows. It was just a funny, like, a funny switch of play there. Yeah. And and I love the fact that Pony brought up uh, that, that Humvee. It would have been the same thing I, I, I would have done. Um, but yeah, it was like a zombie arm army just coming to get us. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. He hearing all the guys freak out, like, yeah, as you were saying, all the comms. Just Humvee bearing down on you, you're too confused as hell. Alright. Well, unless we got anything else, uh, I gotta get some dinner. But, uh, <laughs> this'll be Squad Ops. Signing off, come check us out, squadops.gg, register on the forums, join us on Discord, have a grand old time, participate in the ops. Uh, you guys, any last words? Nope, nice work, Pony. Pony. That, oh, was, uh, that was a fun two rounds. Indeed, those, those were very fun. All right, thanks for everyone for turning out, and uh, thanks for you guys for commanding, giving us a good show, and of course, thanks, Penn, for putting it on behind the, scene, behind the scenes there. I'm Tedish, and we'll see you guys on Saturday for our next stop. What do, what do we got coming up on Saturday? What's the name of it? Does anyone know offhand? Um, on uh, Saturday, it, it is... Rising... Rising Ghost? Yeah, Rising Ghost. That was it. Yep, Rising Ghosts. Sounds very spooky. All right, we'll bring uh, come check us out then, and uh, we'll get you another More steelable vehicles on Saturday. Oh, hell, hell yeah. yeah. All right, everyone. Have a good night.